Yes, indeed. We're going to head out to the Southwest. It's one of my all-time favorite shows to do because it honors the lifelong tradition and multiple generational tradition of Native American jewelry. I have a passion for it. My parents, when I was growing up, had a huge passion for it, and all of us do too. Now, here's the story. This is so cool. I am such a jewelry nerd. I have goosebumps on this. I truly do. If you love your turquoise, this is the largest amount of turquoise you're going to see throughout our entire event. It's two full hours. Yes, I have Sleeping Beauty. Yes, I have Compito coming up. I've got some of the best turquoise in the world by some of the best designers. Now, on top of that, every last item is on sale. Not just here on the air, in jewelry, but also on hsn.com. My poor producer, Kevin, took five minutes to have to figure that out. I go, really? All jewelry's on sale? He goes, yeah. I go, great. We have five flex pays on everything as well. It's going to be a wonderful hour. I have several items that are up to or over $100 off. So stick around, and here we go. Let's begin with this. When you're watching the Chocolate Canyon show, you're going to see outstanding, outstanding artisanry. You are literally wearing three-dimensional art. Now, here's the story. This originally was $549 dollars and 50 cents so 549.50 right now we are talking 499.95 this is a hundred percent brand new it is a launch it is campito's jewelry look at the density of the silver how beautiful the stonework is we will get to that and tell you the story with jennifer Wan in just a moment this oh there's a hundred okay there you go so i and i will warn you very very limited items in the next two hours unbelievable sale prices you're just gonna flip you're gonna love it all right the next item i love this too because I think it's a really um, I, I want to say a more updated take on traditional southwestern jewelry I love it this is a crisscross bypass wrap ring wraps around your finger incredibly comfortable to wear you do have a slight adjustment but I also have all the sizes that you need to go along with it now in this case we are talking about stand by uh, $59.98 so it's on sale it's another brand new item I have sizes 5 through 10 I believe I'm wearing a 6 I think it's very true to size. Oh, do I? Oh, I have 5 through 12. Oh, yay. And it's a brand new launch and also on sale. I love the white topaz. I think it's gorgeous, faceted big. And then that is beautiful, beautiful turquoise from Sleeping Beauty. That's the best turquoise in the entire world. I'm so excited to show you it. Then I have one more item that, again, is such a different take on what we normally do in the Chaco Canyon collection. And I wanted to show you this. I have 100 available. It's going to completely sell out. How gorgeous is this? Very traditional design that you're seeing a huge massive cabochon of kingman i haven't seen a piece of kingman that big in a really long time it is indeed leather now i love this in the back you've got two snaps it's going to fit a six and three quarters to a seven and three quarter inch wrist and then i love the stamping work those are traditional symbols they all tell a story like our beautiful native americans like to share through their jewelry through their basket weaving through their rugs weavings it's just an amazing two hours and we are going to jump right into the first First item and it's the wow like I love the planners they said you know Suze let's go into this show and Miss Kenya's joining me hi darling but let's jump in the show and do something spectacular so I love like it's the it's like it's like fireworks all two hours so this is our turquoise cuff and ring it's a combination final quantities which means how many do I have left of this that would be I have seven seven of you will ever have this incredible high gallery high collectible turquoise piece the size on the ring is going to be 5 through 12 but do I have all those sizes Kevin I can't possibly with only seven okay I have five six seven and twelve right now this is on sale it is the lowest price we've ever offered on this piece so imagine if you just got the cuff what would you spend in Taos New Mexico for a cuff with all this gorgeous turquoise then oh I don't know let's add its campitos another entire collection and then finally finish off this elongated ring and all the sterling silver. It's gorgeous. I'm assuming Jennifer is ready. There she is. I'm so excited once again to work with Jennifer Wan. She's one of my favorite people from the San Carlos Apache tribe. Uh, Jennifer, I know you're such a proud representative of all the artisans who create the jewelry. And I got to be honest with you, these two hours, I was so pumped, girl, because it's just not only spectacular designs, but I love the fact it's all on sale. We rarely see turquoise on sale, you know? <laughs> Oh, especially at this price and, you know, the sleeping beauty that we have, the Campitos turquoise, yeah. the, the Kingman turquoise, everything together is just uh, up for grabs right now. Yes, and this, Jennifer, is a great example. In fact, I just think it's so fun that we started with a wow piece. Can you just quickly describe before it's sold out what we're seeing here? 
Oh, I love this. I I remember this since I was a kid. My father first gave me one of these, and I thought that I was such a grown up. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, when I was young, he he handed it to me and said, you know, this is for you, and I. I asked what it was because I've never seen it before. And um, just to have that on you and to look at it and just to have it, uh, you know, adjusted, you know, to your ring size. And I mean, just the look of it, it's unique, it's beautiful. It's a collector's dream. And yes. the artist in here for it, his name is Jimmy Garcia. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it is a collector's dream. You're exactly right. Guys, we're down to like four left. So if this is one of those ones that just you're wowed by and you're like, yeah, that's in my wheelhouse. That's what I want to collect. As Jennifer said it is a collector's dream and it's going to be sold out in just a second so miss jen we're going to move right on because that is so limited and the next one up guys is the lowest price we've ever done i mentioned i was going to have several items that are at, at a minimum a hundred dollars off so this one indeed is a hundred dollars off i have 200 of you to ever get this it's a wonderful bar design and i love the fact that jennifer they the artisans have taken the traditional work and really i think have done something spectacular and really kind of made it a little more modern in this and you have two choices the top one's going to be your turquoise and the bottom one is beautiful shell with jet so there's three dozen left here and then the top is going to be of course your turquoise on the top and it is Kim Pito's um, the length on this comes in at 20 inches and the drop the kind of the drop itself is about a half an inch just so you can see guys too on the back of these it's completely adjustable so you have a lot of size variations to work with Jennifer who was the designer behind this the artist in here her name is Lucy Shekla and uh, she's been with us for a very long time she learned uh, as a young girl um, helping her parents inlay and cut stones and as she grew up she started doing her own style of jewelry making and um, this is one of her her best timepieces that we have I love this because the fact is it's got a more of an updated version mm -hmm. of, of the inlaid um, work the, the needlepoint work to it and um, I like it because I like to mix and match all, a lot of my turquoise jewelry with it I have on that exact necklace right now and um, I just like it because the way it looks it's unique the way the sun hits it and it's got that sparkle and when you have the turquoise in it you know it, it really pops and especially during the springtime they say that uh it's now things are coming in new things are becoming fresh and so this is a fun fresh look for a lot of people out there I agree with you too. It is a really fresh look and I think it's easy to wear. I think it fills a neckline beautifully. I like the fact you have 20 inches to work with and I'll show you the back of this. It's all sterling silver by the way. So when you're shopping, remember that's all SS, which we love sterling silver. But if you notice a nice big chunky heavy duty lobster claw clasp that you can hook anywhere you want along this design. So if you want to go from 20 inches to 18, that's fine. 16 inches. I just really love the fact that the open work on the link gives you that kind of versatility so you can wear it with lots of different necklines. Um, as you said, Jennifer, too, you're going to see, as a matter of fact, I have a beautiful, very traditional necklace coming up. So if you want something that I would consider a more traditional um, a Native American design, we've got it for you. But if you're like me and you kind of love wearing turquoise a lot, but you want something a little more updated, this is where you want to go. This is exactly what you want to pick up with that traditional artisan street, artisan street, <laughs> that you see, <laughs> I could spit that out, Sorry. in this design. The jet shell is almost gone. You got a little baby with you. Is there a little no, puppy? No, I just hiccuped. I hiccuped. <laughs> that was a hiccup? <laughs> I thought it was a little puppy. <laughs> I get okay. that all the time. <laughs> you have the cutest hiccup on the face of the earth. <laughs> Well, that was adorable. Uh, the jet shell is almost gone. The one up here is going to be your traditional turquoise. And can you tell us a little bit about Campitos? Campitos turquoise, uh, I do believe it comes from Mexico. And so um, we started using a lot of that into our jewelry making. And especially with the artisans, they like the way that it looks, the, you know, the the pyrite that's in it, the way that it shines. It, there's many different, you know, versions of it. And um, it just brings a uniqueness to the jewelry in itself. And I love the fact that the artisans like to play with it and just give it more of a, a richer look to it with their silver work. 
Now, also, I want to show you guys, and also, if we could, well, let me show you this. I'll just show it this way because we have it in front. If you say, okay, I do want, as Jennifer was saying, a little bit more modern, a little something different than a regular turquoise piece, you've got to see these hoops. And I love them so much. I made the mistake of not ordering it before I came on the air. So again, if you're looking for something different, you love a big hoop, you don't necessarily want a squash blossom design, which is more traditional, then remember, these are coming up, and I think they look fantastic here together. So I just want to point these out. Kevin, my fat fabulous producer will show you uh, the item number for that in just a second. And again, he just gave you a sneak peek on the left-hand side of the screen of this piece that's coming up in a moment, which is the Y necklace, which again, just looking at like this, you're like, oh yeah, okay, this is good. Um, that's going to be coming up in just a second. Thanks, Kevin. There are the earrings. They're 214, 100% absolutely worth it. All sterling silver, all beautiful turquoise, just can't be replicated. And you certainly wouldn't find those for a couple hundred dollars anywhere else. And everything as I mentioned is on sale. Sorry, Dustin, audio folks. I got to move my mic for this neck necklace. Okay, sorry, I'm messing with it live. Don't you love that? All right, so lowest <laughs> price we've ever done on the bars. Um, just again, FYI, the most limited is going to be your shell jet, which is that cool black and white. Uh, your turquoise Campito is here. Uh, Jennifer, just really quickly with about 20 seconds to go. Um, I love this. It's sort of traditional because you do have that famous inlay work we're familiar with. I like it because of the onyx, it really, it, it's unique. It looks like a piano, you know, it, it's, mm -hmm. it's a, a basically nature, you know, and when you see it, it a little song comes to you, mm -hmm. you know, makes you feel happy. And um, again, this is another updated version of what the, the jewelers are doing right now. And it's a, it's a fun, you know, uniqueness to it. And it, it brings a lot of people happy when they wear it. I absolutely agree with you. All right, we're gonna wrap up on that because we gotta move on. We have more items coming up, guys. The next item, $88 off. I only have 50 available. Stick around, I have one, two, three, four brand new launches in this hour alone. Four brand new launches to show you coming up. Also check out our entire event on hsn.com uh, because it's a great place to be able to, oh, hold on one second, guys. of water. <laughs> If you don't know, it is live television, by the way. All right, next item, as I mentioned, we are $88 off. It is a Sleeping Beauty beautiful bangle. Remember I mentioned we've got a couple Sleeping Beauty items. Look how pretty this is. Going back to the Sleeping Beauty ring, if you want something a little more delicate, something that is not too overwhelming when you can wear it literally every day, I think these two pieces are great compliments. So here's what we're doing. Lowest price we've ever done. Now this is awesome because my producer about... Three minutes before we went live said, oh, by the way, we took some pri more prices down. I'm like, really? Okay, great. This was $258. We're now at $159.98. That's funny. My math is now off. It's almost $100 off. That's how recent they were actually marking things down. So we're all the beneficiaries. The uh, size on this is eight and a quarter inches. I have about a six and a half inch wrist. And I love this because I love a bangle to move and jingle. It was very easy to put it on and off. But I think even if it's oversized for you, you'll find it just to be a spectacular piece. So Jennifer, tell us a little bit about this design, if you will. The artist in here, his name, his name is Jensen Belen, and I had the honor of watching him work. It, he was just like a, a rock star, I guess. That's what I said the last time. And um, he was making some jewelry. He was just in his element and just, but the fact that he comes from a long line of silversmiths, his dad actually was uh, our first silversmith out in uh, Running Bear and for Chaco Canyon. And so um, he's got, you know, that gene in him of uh, making great, beautiful artwork. And with this bangle hair, what I like, the, like about it is that 
it's got more of a, a, a domed edge to it. Um, on the inside, it's smooth and it's comfortable. It's wide enough for me so I can just slip it on and, you know, add other pieces of jewelry to it, you know, mix and match. And especially for the amount of Sleeping Beauty turquoise in it, it's it's not too much, but yet it's got a little sprinkle of it that uh, it really pops out. And especially with that ring that you had on with the topaz, you know, I really love that mix and match color to it. I do too. And again, it's Sleeping Beauty. So there's lots of turquoise in the world. Well, actually, it's pretty funny, Jennifer. There's really not lots of turquoise in the world. No, no. <laughs> no. I, I got to retract that statement. There used to be a more turquoise, but there's really not much turquoise in the world. The most rarest and the one everybody wants is this turquoise you're seeing both in the ring coming up and this great on sale bracelet sleeping beauty is the rolls royce the lamborghini i don't know all the fancy cars you know the fanciest bag you could ever own the one that most of us can never get our hands on that's what sleeping beauty is it is the most coveted because it hasn't been mined in years and years and years so when you can see the largest amount of turquoise we will offer on hsn in a two-hour block and it includes sleeping beauty these are true collectibles and again look at the beautiful beautiful amount of silver. The artist, artistry work is sensational on this. I love it because it's comfortable and easy and it's really layerable. Do you have a bracelet, it's a multi-strand, say turquoise bracelet, even from maybe J. King? How awesome would this be kind of dashed on with it? And of course, you're getting it a huge markdown. I mean, we're very close, like what, two pennies away from $100 off or something like that, right? <laughs> anyway, take advantage of it. We have it available eight and a quarter inches in terms of its size. All right, you guys jumped on the line for the leather cuff. I think this is absolutely out of this world. So pretty. There are 90 of you who will ever now own this cuff because a whole bunch of you bought it just from the preview. Please notice the huge amount of sterling silver on here. It's incredible incredible. Plus you have this giant cabochon of Kingman turquoise. That is another famous closed mine. <laughs> uh, then you have this incredible leather and you do have snaps in the back. So you've got a couple of sizes to work with on the back as well. Stick around. We will get to this, although it is very much on its way to selling out. Also, now we're going to talk about my hairpins. I have actually two options in the show tonight. I've got the butterfly we're going to talk about now, and then I have a double cabochon hairpin that's coming up, and these just turned out so cool. I had so much fun twisting these into my hair. All done in sterling silver. This is that beautiful butterfly, and it is, of course, from Chaco Canyon. This is brand new, and it is the launch of our sterling silver butterfly. We're about an inch wide, half an inch down, and we're on sale at 40 $49.98. This is of all the items in our two hours together with Jennifer. And by the way, it's the only two hour turquoise block of the whole event. This is the most affordable piece in the show. Oh, that looks so cute, Kenya. All right. So tell us the importance behind the butterfly, the designer. What's the story behind this one, Jennifer? The artist in here, his name is Raymond Yazi. And uh, for him, his, his work is very detailed and, uh, in, in, his, in his stamp work. And especially for springtime, that's when everything is new. And for the butterflies, when they come out, they say that uh, when you are missing someone, you would, uh, when you see a butterfly, you would whisper your secret to the butterfly. And what the butterfly does, it flies above and is able to go, you know, talk to the heavens, to the ancestors and tell them what your secret is. And then when you see that butterfly again, that is a, a symbolism of, you know, the ancestors coming down and talking to you. And when it stays around you, flies around you, you know, that gives you good hope and good luck. I love that and I love the symbolism behind it. And only for my personal kind of story, Jennifer, is whenever I see butterfly, I think about my parents. They passed away. And when I see butterflies, they just, it just I think they're coming to visit me is how I kind of look at it. Let's talk a little bit about the way you put it in your hair and how you work with it. For, for me, actually, when I bring my hair together, what I do is um, I kind of twist it and then I'll just get it in and just just kind of loop it around until you get the, you feel it kind of snug in your hair. And then when you see the butterfly, you know, that's sticking in pretty good, then that's when you know you have it on. Just perfect. I love it. It was very easy to put in, by the way. And then I'll show you in my hair, these are a set of two we have coming up later on. So the top one and the bottom you'll see in my hair. And then we put the butterfly right there in the little middle. And it was so cute. One of the gals on the crew, she said, oh my goodness, we were all looking at my hair and she said, 
oh my gosh, your hair looks so cute with those, those in them. It's like, it's charming and it's kind of that wonderful little wink. You know, it makes you, I think, feel special and look special when you have them in your hair. And again, you're getting all precious metal and you're getting beautiful turquoise. Kenya, I think that's so perfectly put on yours too. It looks so great. Just as that wonderful little accent, you know, just something special and different. Now, I do need to mention two things. We have five flex on every jewelry piece all day long, both online and on the air. Wonderful, got a major credit card, you can use it, you'll get this home for $10, it's incredible. Now beyond that, here's what you wanna do. If you spend $75 or more, everything ships for free on the day you're shopping. So let's say you saw Lenny earlier and you bought a few items with her and you're just about that $75 mark, well guess what, once you hit 75, everything flips to free shipping and that's no matter what you buy. But it is such a great show to take advantage of that. This is a perfect example to get you that $75 mark. All right, just want to show you that one last time before they're completely sold out. I also think this makes a great little gift idea. I've got 130 remaining. I started out with 200, so again, really limited on that one. All right, let's do an update. Do you ready to do an update? We started the show off with this, which is absolutely glorious. It's so pretty. And now it is sold out. If you want, I maybe have one left. I don't know. You can check online, but I might have a single one left online for you. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is we are going to talk about this other gorgeous cuff and this just takes artisan Dream. I'll spit that out today. Um, and just silver work, by the way, just a whole different level. I think this is fa fantastic for a gal and fantastic for a guy in your life. So if you're shopping for a guy or a gal, this is one of those pieces that I'd say either one could wear it very easily. So what we're doing is this is $50 off. I have a little over 100 remaining before it's also sold out. And this is a brand new launch and it is one of those wow collectible pieces as you can just see the massive amounts of sterling silver used. This is not a flimsy little piece. Beautiful, beautiful stones of turquoise. Really kept the inherent shape of the turquoise with this. Polished it up and then bring us something so free form and I think, quite frankly, exciting. Jennifer, this is really, to me, uh, just a masterpiece. It is a real wow statement bracelet when you're wearing it. Oh, well, I wish I had that with me right now. The way you were looking at it, the way it, <laughs> it's so pretty. Something about it, it's something about turquoise for me. It's like if I see something and I want to touch the turquoise, I want to feel it. It's it's just like, like being in tune with the earth. And um, for the artisan here, his name is Mike Smith. He's really outdone himself with, you know, his his master skills and especially the way that turquoise really pops and that silver shines um mm. he has come he has come a long way and especially he learned uh, his uh, learned silversmithing from his wife loretta and um together you know they make jewelry together and one of the few things that he that i that he said to me when i first met him was that you know i said you know what was your inspiration when you make jewelry and he said my wife you know i would like to make things that she would want to wear mm -hmm. and um it just made me think, you know, what, what's in her jewelry box and, you know, all those pieces and they've, they've made, you know, pieces together. They've, uh, we've brought a lot of pieces to HSN of where they work together. And especially for him, he's also being, he was taught by, uh, Emerson Del Garrido and he's also a master in his own right. And both of them now are masters that are teaching other, uh, future silversmiths, you know, their art and hopefully to keep that culture of silversmithing alive. Uh, yeah, and I think that's so interesting that it's a husband and wife team. And the other thing I think it's so important to note when you're watching this show, if you're deciding to buy a piece, there is so much work that goes into each and every piece, but I think more importantly for me, basically it comes down to this. The art that you're getting today, and I do call this art, uh, become is it, it is such a part of uh, Native Americans' livelihoods for many of the Native American artisans. And it also, and I think this is the most important thing, keeps their culture, their history, and quite frankly, their spirituality alive. And and that's so important. I, I, I think it is, we never, ever, ever, uh, as a, a jewelry lover, want to lose this 
genre of jewelry making ever. It's too precious to our history, to the history of the world. It's too precious to those of us who love to, make, uh, love to wear jewelry. We love the stories behind it. Uh, and I love the fact that every single piece you buy, there are, th these people, it's their livelihoods and it's a generational experience for them. And to be able to support that in any way, I find to be uh, so important, I really do. And so if this piece is really talking to you or maybe you have a lot of turquoise and you're buying this for a guy, because I think this would be great for a guy, please don't hesitate. It basically says it fits a five and a half to a six and an eight inch, eight inch wrist. Let me show you mine. I'm wearing a six and a half. Now, if you're very, very careful, you can slowly adjust it. I don't want you to wail on this. Or if you're really careful, you bring it out slightly. Don't ever go like this or really push in on it. But I want you to see, I think, Jennifer, do you believe some guys could probably wear this okay? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I've had friends who've gone through my, my jewelry box and especially with my cuffs. Uh, I've had some of the guys put it on and sometimes they would walk out with it and I have to chase them down, you know, for my cuffs. But um, uh, yes, uh, definitely a man could wear this too as well. Yes, I agree. And the stones themselves, you guys, um, let me give you... Can somebody grab a ruler when you get a chance for me? Um, only because I want you to see how massive these stones are. When you're seeing Jennifer and the work of the artisans who are creating it, they, other than if it's like it, on purpose, like you're gonna see we have these amazing cuffs coming up that have little chips of turquoise in them, but that is the artistry of them. They literally are cracking the, making, or carving the turquoise with their fingernails. Um, and you're gonna see that, and it's a very specific look. It's very regionally designed. But the vast majority of these pieces are real show pieces, and this is one of those. You have very, very large cabochons. Jennifer, I love they really really kept the inherent free form of the shape of the original turquoise, and really worked around it almost. I love it because it's really, it for me, it looks rustic. It looks mm -hmm. like uh, the, the older type of, uh, or the type of um, traditional cuffs that were used a long, long ago. And, um, but this is more of a unique uh, look to it, the, the way that it really, um, it's kind of a little bit of ab abstract. And uh, I've seen the way the, a lot of the, uh, the inlaid the, uh, guys, when they cut the turquoise, you know, they have to handle it a certain way and, you know, spin it around. And I, I mean, just looking at their fingers and the hard work that they do, um, it, it, I love the way that it comes out at the end and especially mm -hmm. the way that it shines, all that workmanship and the effort that the, you know, the whole team puts together, you know, you're getting the best. I agree with you, there is, and, and you can see every little detail. For example, I want you to see the roping around here. Look how big and beefy those bezels are. That's all sterling silver. Now, seriously, Keith didn't have to do this extra roping work inside, but it gives it more support, and it's a ton of sterling silver. When you feel this, you'll go, wow, now I'm really wearing a jewelry piece. Okay, the crew very quickly found me a ruler, so here we go. I just want to see this center stone. Look at the size of this. Let's see if I can get this straight. It comes in at about three quarters of an inch, just on that center stone. It's, it's massive. And this is a very a big amount of valuable, valuable turquoise just beautifully executed here. Hey guys, don't forget we have this adorable ring to go back. And again, you can see more modern works with more traditional. Rope design here, more modern. Rope design here, very, very traditional. So it just all works and blends together, I think, beautifully. Also remember, while this is a brand new item, we even put it on sale. And normally, if you watch our shows, if it's brand new, we normally don't necessarily put it on sale. And we actually took $50 off, so that's a huge savings. We have 12-month VIP financing on a couple items in the show. That is, this is included. What happens is, excuse me, you want to pull out your HSN card. And if you have that, you're going to be able to pay this off in 12 months. It's kind of like 12 months of flex pay at $41.66. Kevin, how many do I have left of my cuff, buddy, before we move on? Okay, guys, I have less than 90 remaining. And once again, this is one of those, really for me, once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. It's on sale. I can guarantee you, and Jennifer will confirm this, she's been working with Chaco Canyon jewelers for years. I'll guarantee you, if this was sitting in Santa Fe or Taos, New Mexico or Albuquerque or anywhere down in the Southwest, this is not a $499 bracelet. I mean, Jennifer, we could put a bunch more numbers in front of that, couldn't we? <laughs> yes, I was watching. <laughs> I was watching some uh, different shows and especially going online and just the way that 
turquoise is selling and, and especially Sleeping Beauty. Oh my God, I've seen some for like over $8,000. Oh. And um, I was, yeah, my, my, my whole throat was like, oh my God, you know, just looking at it and just that amount of turquoise. And I'm like, oh geez, my goodness, you just blew my mind. But for the Campitos turquoise, um, it's a little bit different. You've got that, you know, pyrite mixed to it. And I love the matrix that comes through the turquoise. And when you're holding the jewelry, when you're wearing it, um, for me, it's like a moth to a flame. All I can do is just stare at it. And, you know, everywhere you go, I want to look at it because I, it, it really brings a sense of calmness for me. And out of those who are average turquoise, to, uh, turquoise collectors, you know, they feel the same way when they wear their pieces of turquoise just like this. Yes. Oh, I agree. And this becomes a family heirloom. I hope you remember that too. I have, it's funny, we have a squash blossom piece that's coming up. And I inherited one from my mom. My mom passed away when I was 19 years old and I inherited a squash blossom piece from her. And when I saw this one over beside me, literally, I, I might start crying. I'm not kidding you. It just, it reminds my mom. She and my dad loved turquoise. They collected lots of turquoise. I haven't seen a big giant squash blossom in a very long time. Uh, someday I'll take a picture of it and show everybody on Facebook because these, is, these are heirloom pieces in our family. This is what I would pass on to my son. You know, that kind of thing. You know, you buy it now now, but it becomes a really important uh, memory for your entire family. Um, and so generations will enjoy this and truly keep this time-honored, precious artisan tree tradition going. We must do it. I mean, there's just no way we ever want this to go away. There's about 70 left before this is completely gone, so stay on the line for it. I know we're really busy, but I've got more surprises for you, including our weekly deal drops. We love it. They drop on Mondays, they end on Sundays. They're extra special savings that last for literally one single wink, and when they're gone, they are gone. So check those out on hsn.com. All right, now here's what we're gonna do because you guys are loving the leather cuff. We decided we're gonna move it up a little bit, give you an early peek at it because we believe it is going to be sold out here in just a couple seconds. So here we go, giant piece, a huge piece of cabochon in the front. This is all leather. I really love this because it is unusual for us to do something that incorporates leather in the show. We don't do it very often. So it just turned out fantastic. It fits from six and three quarters to seven and three quarters. You can see there's a snap so you can adjust it in the back. It is such a pretty, pretty piece of Kingman turquoise. Yes, indeed. One of, along with Sleeping Beauty, one of the rarest turquoise in the world. I have 64 left and then it's gone. A bunch of you just jumped online and said, yeah, I'll get that in the preview. So Jennifer, let's talk about this piece. First off, let's talk a little bit about Kingman and how famous that turquoise is. So we're uh, very honored to be working with the Kolbach family that uh, have the Kingman mine, and um, especially you know getting the rust that we have and being able to work with it and you know keep it for certain uh, uh, traditional pieces mm -hmm. and especially for the artisans they have to work with you know the the rust that they have and um, to make. Uh, a bracelet just like this. When I first seen this, when it first came out, I thought it was just so unique and it just blew my mind. And um, artisans like uh, Jimmy Emerson, uh, Emerson Del Garrido, Loretta Del Garrido, uh, they make, uh, and also David Lopez, they all make leather bracelets like this. And I love the fact that they can mix and match and you know make it traditional, but yet stylish at the end. Yes, absolutely, totally agree with you on that too. You can really mix and match these, have a lot of fun with them. Um, don't forget, we have so many cool pieces coming up and I'm trying to find, we have a multi-stack ring we're gonna feature you guys a little bit later. It looks like a multi-stack, but whether you pick up the earrings, whether you pick up other pieces and combine them together, I, I love the idea and Jennifer, I know you and a lot of us who really enjoy Native American jewelry, we wear a lot of it. You put it all together all at once and it's spectacular. This one is gonna be <laughs> sold out though. Please don't wait. Originally it was 239 right now we're at 159.98 that's almost 80 dollars off i've got 50 about 50 left that counter's dropping really quickly jennifer because it's about to be sold out can you tell us the symbolism behind what we're seeing surrounding that piece of kingman for the stars the the navajo people they believe that their ancestors come from uh the stars the heavens above and they call themselves the Dene, you know the people and um uh, I was told that when, you know, one person would greet another, you would say, which is like, you know, greetings from, from the people, from the heavens and from their ancestors. 
That's wonderful. Also, just another quick note, you pop it off and watch if you really wanted to. I'm gonna double check this, see if we can do it. See, I'll pull it the other way. If you wanted to, you could, I probably wouldn't mess with it, but if you wanted to, you could bend these back a little bit and just wear the leather cuff by itself. So you could, but personally, this is for me the wow. So I would never probably wear it without it, but just wanna show you there would be a slight option to be able to do that. Also, I love the stamping they've done on the leather. I think that turned out beautiful, Jennifer. Oh yes, I did not know that you can do that, you know, with with leather, leather work, and especially for seeing um, a lot of the artisans do it just mainly on, you know, silver, mm -hmm. like a silver plaque, and um, just now doing it on leather and having, you know, their stamp work really pop, really you know, come out. It's just perfect. <laughs> there you go. I was going to let you finish that. <laughs> okay, another sellout in the show. That one is completely gone. Now we're going to move on to this necklace. And I have to tell you, I hope you get it. I really do. It is so pretty and it's gorgeous. And look how it fills a neckline. And you can have a lot of fun with the length on this. So here we go. First time ever to air at this low price. It's never been a bigger savings. You're $100 off. And again, this is that show stopper. It's a beautiful wide design. The necklace is 19 inches. That drop is four and a half inches. So you want to talk about filling a neckline or being able to wear it with a turtleneck or maybe you've just got a basic tunic top from Marlo or DG2 or what have you. This is going to take your top from, hey, it looks good to, oh, wow, like your outfit looks amazing. And I also want to recommend, if you're really going to go for it, a couple options here. We've got these beautiful hoops, which I think simplify. You know, if you want to wear a lot here you might want to go more simple here so we'll pop the item number up for the hoops as well because I think those would look fantastic together I mean how awesome would that be also if you have just basic sterling silver earrings you want to wear with it or you've got little turquoise stud earrings again that would look amazing because this really is the highlight it's the centerpiece of your outfit when you're wearing it Jennifer there's a lot to talk about on this so I'm going to let you begin wherever you want to start <laughs> the artist in here, his name is David Lopez. He has started out from uh, inlay work and he's been taught by Emerson Delgarito and Mike Smith. And um, uh, he's really becoming a master in his own right as you know the years go by. And um, he's very lucky to be able to be uh, doing the work that he does because he's being able to take care of his family too as well. And um, this is made with a uh, Sonoran gold, which is like a beautiful bluish green color to it. And it is hand stamped and like very neatly and precisely put together. And when I first seen this necklace, I was I was amazed. I was amazed by that all that stamp work mm -hmm. and especially the chain that goes with it. Mm -hmm. I love those types of change because chains because it they're, they're more comfortable for me and the clasp is more comfortable. I and it doesn't really twist. And when you touch it, when you feel it, and you see that workmanship in it, you're gonna fall in love with it. Yeah, oh my goodness. I can't wait for the compliments you'll get when you're wearing it. It could be the most basic white t-shirt or it could be a white colored blouse and it fills up the center of it. Again, it could be a turtleneck and you wanna wear it longer. Let me show you what Jennifer's talking about with the chain itself in the back. See how we've got that hiked up really high? You can vary that. And we've probably got that up three inches from its longest length. Um, I'm trying to see on me, I think I've got it at the, yes, I'm wearing it at the longest length. Um, Kenya, are you wearing it at the longest or do you have it hiked up a little bit? You're, well, could you just reach, can you feel it in the back? <laughs> She's like, oh, guess I gotta, I gotta do this by hand, is he? In the middle, so she, they, we made it a little tighter on there. Because again, the neckline's a little higher. So that's what I love about it. It's just that wow moment. It could be so basic and then you throw this on and it's like, oh my gosh, what an awesome piece. Again, if it was me, I'd look, uh, I definitely would check out your own home wardrobe of jewelry. Think about picking up maybe a spa, uh, sterling silver earrings if you have those. I really, really love these hoops coming up. I hope they last. I hope we get to these babies because they are so cool looking. But I think you want to go a little more simple at the ear uh, because this is just a gorgeous piece and Jennifer to your point the linking between these you're seeing them right there Dustin thank you they did such a beautiful job that it lays perfect on any neckline it doesn't matter what your neckline is or what size your neck is it just lays perfectly because of that exquisite exquisite linking that they've done and again Jennifer to your point guys this is all 100% handcrafted Jennifer could you explain the tools they use to make that? Well, 
it varies between different artists. They have their own stamps and they create their own stamps and um, can be used anywhere from rebar to like, you know, nails from from the railroads and um, especially making it the, the way the necklace is made, the concho style, that is more of a traditional look because that is used in a lot of uh, Navajo traditional jewelry. Uh, yes, and, it, and I, I always find it fascinating that they literally create their own tools. And, and when you'd see it, if you ever get an opportunity, and Jennifer, I, again, I've been so darn blessed to be able to do that, to see some of these artisans work, you, it's very rudimentary looking. It's, 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 and you know what I really love, Jennifer, is when I see, and we used to have pictures of it, but I love it when they're at their station where they work, and there'll be wood pieces that you can see, they've just done thousands of handmade pieces on it. And I love the fact that it's kind of worn, and you and it's got the and right groove. Yeah. Yes, isn't that the coolest uh -huh. thing? Is that, and then there's little burn marks, and there's like this big log that's there. And um, I, I sat beside one of uh, the artisans' tables, and I was uh, doing a show, and I didn't want to touch the table because I didn't want to, you know, you know, ruin it or anything. But I was just imagining, you know, that person sitting there, and you know, how many thousands in their of jewelry that they made in their lifetime, hundreds, yeah. possibly hundreds of thousands. I mean, it just depends on, you know, the style and how they were, things were made. And, you know, was this passed down to that person from another person? Mm -hmm. And just, just all that traditional work that's gone into it, you know, it makes your mind go crazy just thinking about it, but you have more of a, an appreciation for Navajo silversmithing. You do. I think you do. If you ever get to see pictures of really these artisans when they're doing what they do, it is so intricate and it's so complicated. And again, I mean, this is amazing. This is a $400 necklace. I mean, I mean, you might be going, oh, it's amazing. It's a $400 necklace. If you ever, ever get a chance or I know a lot of you have been lucky enough to go to Santa Fe or Taos or, or anywhere down in, uh, you know, New Mexico. Um, this is not a $400 necklace. I mean, our full price is $500, which is a little fairer, but then it's going to be even higher. There's just so much work. This is absolutely a very traditional, very gallery piece, but I love they modernized it just by doing this sexy Y. It just works. And I'm so glad you guys like it. Kevy, how many do I have left, my love? I have two dozen left and then that is going to be no longer available. All right, we gotta move on from that. Don't forget our spring in bling. We're bringing you lots of sunshine and lots of sparkle today for 24 hours. The actual event goes for a couple more days, but I will tell you the five flex pay on all jewelry is only for today. And all of our jewelry, both online and on air is on sale. Well, yeehaw for that. All right, coming up next, you're gonna see the squash blossom earrings. I'm gonna show you that necklace that reminds me of my mom and dad. Or just just around the corner and we have more sale items coming up so stay right there don't all mascaras do the same job nope they lengthen volumize and dramatize at hsm we demo fabulous beauty brands on real people so you can see the real difference hsn.com love watching hsn then take us with you in the hsn app everything on your tv is streaming live on your phone Anytime, any place, we're always with you. Download the iPhone or Android app today. The HSN deal is a great value that we bring to you every day. Thanks to our long and valued partnerships with the brands you love most, we are able to offer amazing products at great values. Shop the HSN deal with confidence from us to you. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details.
watching HSN. Hey, I'm Suzanne Runyon. This is called a Spring in Bling, Bling in Spring. Oh, either way, it's fabulous. <laughs> it's all about sparkle, it's all about shine, a 24-hour jewelry event that I'm so proud to be on the air with and especially honored to do the Chaco Canyon collection. This is the largest Chaco Canyon collection of the entire event. It's a big two hours. Everything for 24 hours is on sale and the sale continues on hsn.com for a couple of days. Take advantage of the pricing. If you really love your turquoise, you've already seen we sold out over three or four pieces now. We still have more to come and indeed everything is on sale. But now we're gonna talk about this, a beautiful squash blossom earring. Heads up, I have 20 remaining. That is it for the entire country. This is also a brand new launch that you're looking at. The length comes in at, look at that, a whopping two and a half inches going across the front. We come in at about an inch. Now next hour, I wanted to give you a sneak peek at the squash blossom necklace that very much reminds me of my mom and dad and I inherited a necklace very similar to this. Um, so I have great memories. This is a very traditional, this is the kind of the epitome for me of a Native American style and look. It again is one of those wow show pieces. If you really love the squash blossom or maybe you've wanted to add it to your collection, I just wanted to show you I have two versions of it within the same two hour block. So Jennifer, we're gonna start with the earrings and we'll obviously get to the necklace a little later, but what is the story behind the squash blossom and why has it always been so popular in Native American designs? Uh, the, the nausea, the crescent shape that you see there, the, that was actually being, um, was this, the center point of a, of a horse bridle actually from the Spanish conquistadors that, and the Navajos had seen this on their, on their um, bridles. And so they started using that in their silversmithing jewelry making and had used that symbolism for a very long time. That symbolism of the Naja or the Naja, Naja hey, hopefully I said that right. <laughs> and um, the, it means crescent or curve and, it's, and especially it's a symbolism too of, of the moon. And um, when you look at it, it's, it's a symbolism of one's status, wealth and cultural being. And uh, when you wore these in the different cultures, then you know, it's like you're wearing, you're wearing the sky, you're wearing a gift that has been given to you from um, Father Sky. That's why they call it the Sky Stone. And um, when the little flower blossoms that you see there, they're, when you see the little uh, squash blossom flowers, they've got the little bit of a, a petals to it, the, the flowers that, you know, bloom. And uh, also they, um, the, the other, another meaning, meaning to it is also, also the pomegranate flower. And um, so when that flower blossoms, um, it comes during springtime and they use that too within their jewelry making. Everything is basically based around nature when you look at it. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that they're really, really comfortable. <laughs> so if you guys are a little concerned, like, well, those are kind of longer earrings. They are, but they are absolutely as comfortable as can be. They come with really nice, nice beefy backs too. So when you get it at home, you're going to see they have really large backs to really keep that up on your ear. But th when you really think about it, it's all sterling silver. You're like, oh my gosh, they're so long. They're going to be eating too heavy. They're not at all. They're all, you almost forget you have them on, which is kind of funny, considering when you feel them, you'll feel there's a lot of strength to them. They're strong, beautiful earrings. Again, we've got pretty turquoise in here, and this is, da, 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 let's see, Campitos. So you're looking at Campitos. You know, one of the things in the traditions I love about a lot of turquoise jewelry is that oxidation that they use on it. That's, again, kind of a complicated step to add that pop to it. I, ooh, excuse me. I like that on um, these earrings is that, you know, you have that little bit of a shadow box in the background. And for me, I was told that when you see that in your, in different types of jewelry, that is um, actually your, your own shadow. And they say that, you know, that's, a, that's something or someone to protect you. So it's that you would never have to look back is that you will always have to go forward and you know you'll always be protected by you know another uh, person that is behind you pushing you forward you know to do things good oh, i love that what a great story okay so we're going to wrap up on this guys i have maybe 10 left is that it like kevin right around 10 10 those are on the way to selling out i have to give you an update you lucky ones i'm so jealous you got this necklace <laughs>
<laughs> happily jealous. How about that? I'm happily jealous. This is now sold out as well. So there's another sellout. The squash blossom earrings are almost gone, so we'll put these aside. Don't forget, this is going to come up. I can't wait to wear it. Trust me on that. Thank you guys. Yeah, that necklace I just took off is gone, so I'm going to stick another necklace on. I do have a lot of different choices coming up. What did you say? I had two people talk to me at once. Oh, can we show it real quick? Kevin, how many do I have of these? Because this is precious. This is, I'm just seriously not kidding you. It is the ultimate, like, here, where there's, there's 12. And it's funny, because I have a squash blossom in my hair from my mom and dad. It's almost identical to this, and it's very old. It's, a, it's really an antique, vintage, Native American jewelry piece. And my parents were very, very, very into Native American jewelry. They really honored the tradition, and they passed that on to the kids. And so I have always been passionate about it. But I saw this piece today, and it reminds me so much of the piece that my parents, I inherited from my parents' collection. Uh, it, it, I literally am about to cry about it, because um, it's just neat to see something that becomes an heirloom piece for you and your family. If you, now this is this is the collector here. You know, this is the, this is for those of you who say, yeah, I want to go for a very traditional, really amazing piece. This is yours. So it's normally almost seventeen hundred dollars. We're at fourteen ninety nine. Again, that's sensational if you were to see beautiful squash blossoms down south. And it is on. It should be on five flex pays, guys. Do we not have that on five flex? It should be on Five Flex, so we're gonna hopefully make that happen because everything's supposed to be on Five Flex, so we'll try to get that updated for you. But again, here's your look at it before it sells out. I have about 10 now left, so two of you already picked it up. That We will get to that one. That's actually coming up next hour. But before we do that, we are going to talk about, or oh, awesome ring, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this ring and I'm gonna put it alongside these hoops because I am absolutely in love with the hoops. Kevin, I hate to bug you on this one, but how many hoops do I have left? Because I know we've shown it a couple times. I'm sorry? Okay, I have about 90 hoops left. We've already sold about 30 of those from the preview. But I think these hoops and this ring and also that bar necklace we had a little earlier are representative of how they've taken a traditional Native American artistry and I think believe and really have updated it. And this is a great example of it. First off, it's a crisscross. I think it's so cool. We've seen the rope. It's a very traditional look in Native American jewelry, but I love now that it's a bypass ring. This is a very, very large white topaz, beautifully faceted and that is a sleeping beauty turquoise stone so this is again one of those pieces that if you can swing it it's 59.98 it's one of the most affordable pieces in our two hours i really hope you'll add this to your collection it is the bridge between traditional native american jewelry designing and modern jewelry together which is lovely by the way on the white topaz we're coming in at 1.25 carats that's a carat and a quarter it's a very very large white topaz and of course as i mentioned that very valuable, very, very rare Sleeping Beauty turquoise here. Your sizes are five through 12. So we go up to 12 in this one. So Jennifer, let's kind of, um, let's kind of take a deeper dive into this. You know, I've worked with you for a very long time. I've been very blessed to know you for a while. I very <laughs> rarely see the uh, artisans work with, uh, I want to say more traditional gemstones outside of turquoise. Oh, oh, excuse me. When we first started work, working with uh, the with the stones like topaz and um, uh, many different other stones, uh, it they, it was a different version that they were going with. And um, so it when it started catching on, uh, the artisans you know, we're feeling a lot more comfortable, you know, incorporating, you know, that type of stone with turquoise. And um, since now that it has grown, you know, a little more popular, um, it's, you know, Oh, did we lose Jennifer? Okay, well, we'll get, we'll get her back just as soon as we can. I love that shot, Dustin, thank you, because you can really see how beautiful the faceting it is. That's a carrot and a quarter. I mean, that's a really huge white topaz. So when you see it on the finger, I just want to see, look how awesome this is. Also, you know, I, the squash blossom, that's a moment. I mean, that's, that's some turquoise right there, right? That is a big piece of jewelry. Uh, every now and then we want to wear our turquoise and maybe we want something less traditional and we want something a little simpler. So this to me is an absolute everyday ring. The kind you can wear with 
shorts or you can wear it with a cute little dress. Um, so many of us, it was really cute. I was working with Juliana Rancig and she has her Goddess CG line. And the other day she did an entire Austin theme. She lives in Austin and she did an entire theme of clothing based on the look of Austin. I also call it the Nashville look. A lot of people call it the Yellowstone look. And Jennifer, I have a question because obviously I, I'm you might be familiar with Yellowstone, maybe not, but there's so many shots and so many costumes featuring drool-worthy turquoise. Um, has that really influenced the popularity of traditional Native American designs, do you think? Has there been some uh, more influence on that? Uh, designs like, like that? No, and especially the popularity. Oh, the popularity, I think it has. Yeah. And um, the way that it's just booming right now, um, it, you know, a lot more people are gravita gravitating towards uh, uh, Navajo jewelry, especially any type of uh, Native American style of jewelry making, mm -hmm. um, a lot more. And you're going to see a lot more different products out there. But for uh, Jimson, the artisan here is Jimson Boleyn, and but for him, uh, making this type of jewelry, you know, he, this is what he does and this is what he loves. I, and you can see that too. I mean, absolutely you can see that. Another, another thing I wanted to point out too, if you're trying to figure out size, this is very, very rigid. So I would go for your absolute regular size. And Kevin, I apologize, I missed your update. I think you said five and 12. Last call on five and 12, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We're in okay shape, not great shape. And it's really interesting. Uh, while our buyers would love to bring in thousands of these pieces, because these are all completely handmade, handcrafted, and so proudly made here uh, by our Native Americans, um, we can't. I mean, literally, we're lucky if we can, I mean, seriously, in the show, I might have the most I have of anything is maybe 300 pieces. Most of them are 20, 30, 50, maybe 70 pieces. So to have uh, sizing five through 12, that's even surprising for me because normally you do five through 10. So it's nice to have the extra two sizes, but five and 12 almost gone. You really kind of want to hustle if you want to get this one. And again, it is brand new. Think about taking it back. This is a Sleeping Beauty bracelet. We featured last hour, eight and a quarter inches. That looks great together. Take this and wear it with, maybe you have a beautiful, um, you know, platinum diamond bracelet. Lucky you. You know, I think white topaz works great with diamonds. So if you want to do diamonds and have this really cool little ring popped with it, great. If you've got our absolute that we have here at HSN, maybe a great bracelet, pop it on with there because you're going to take it back to that white stone. Now, I know this is getting extremely limited. We have fewer than 300 left before this is sold out. Five or 12, if you need either one of those, it's your last chance at it. If you want more Sleeping Beauty, this came from the beginning of the show. It's this awesome bracelet, all featuring Sleeping Beauty uh, turquoise surrounding it. And again, this is the rarest turquoise in the world, is what you're seeing when we say Sleeping Beauty. All right, do you wanna talk about the hoops? Are we doing it next, or are we gonna just... Okay, oh good, thank goodness. <laughs> I really, as you can tell, I really, really love these hoops a lot. I'm super pumped about talking about these hoops because they are great. Um, next hour, what's our first necklace we're doing? My letters, okay, I'm gonna put my letters on because they gave it to me. All right, so these hoops, oh my goodness, love the size, two and a quarter inches. I'm gonna actually try to pop a pair on too. I know Kenya's wearing them as well. These are wonderful. Who doesn't love hoops? For me, they're like the little black dress of all, of all jewelry, you know? You can wear them with everything. Tons of sterling silver, and what I love, Jennifer, in these is they could have very easily stopped right in the front, maybe just did it, you know, three quarters of the way around, but I want you to see they go all the way around to the back. Nice butterfly clasp on the back with that and a whole lot of beautiful turquoise. So Jennifer, who is the designer behind these? The art <clears throat> excuse me, the, the artisan here, his name is Bryce Vassett and uh, the style of the, you know, the pear shape of turquoise is his, his signature look. We have had his crosses on before and his earrings on before, but the but the hoop though really stands out because of the amount of turquoise that is in it. And there's a story saying that for indigenous people, when they had gone through hardships and um, each time they prayed to the creator and to the earth, you know, they would cry. And every single time they would cry, you know, the tears would be soaked into the ground. And that's when each and every one of their tears formed into turquoise. And so that's why the artist in here had put that uh, that little 
uh, pear-shaped look to it and to his jewelry making because, you know, he's put a lot of time and effort into it, a lot of prayers, a lot of, you know, uh, blessings for the person who's going to wear it in hopes, you know, th that they would have a good life, you know, good luck coming to them and a good future. I love that story behind that. And again, there is so much workmanship. And Dustin, if you can do me a favor and just even zoom in a little tighter on maybe one of the earrings, I just want you to see the beading on these. Each, and just envision this, envision trying to make these, okay? Each and every one has to be completely handcrafted. That beading is so complicated. It's so difficult to do. Uh, it is just, oh, that's such a good shot. I want to throw the hoops on if you have a pair. Um, it is really just exquisite how they have done that workmanship that you see in these earrings. And again, I think it's one of those pieces that if you pick them up today, you have just great opportunity to wear something that's just never ever goes out of style. You know, I'm, you could you could you know have hoops for a hundred million years, and we never get tired of them. They never go out of style. They always look fantastic with different outfits. And also, what I love about these is you can definitely dress them up. If you're going to a nice event, maybe it's you know somebody's house for some cocktails and a cookout, they look great. If you're wearing them with a pair of jeans, oh, fantastic! Because Jennifer, you know, doing a hoop gives you that casualness of a hoop.